How's that? My son, my big one, that little one. Walter Bonet is a 72-year-old Cree elder among those attending Nate's Aboriginal Week, taking part in a teepee raising. Walter has been associated with the Technology College for years, a grandson of the legendary chief pound maker. Elders remain revered members of Native culture. Never, I'll never be a chief. I'll never be a counselor. Too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the politics you mean yeah. or what? You... No, no, uh, they don't know what it is, what the work, the responsibility they have. Yes, and that's a problem generally, yeah, that's, isn't it? that's a general problem. So Walter has his definite opinions. So does Métis elder Giselle Wood, whose desire is to reconnect Aboriginal students to their cultural roots. It took 20 to 30 uh, bison hides sewn with sinew to make one teepee. Even some youth today are, you know, say things like, well, you know, when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to say that I was First Nations, or I wasn't allowed to say that I was an ET, because my parents were taught that if you were Aboriginal, then you were not going to be treated the same as everyone else. She talks about a general disconnect from native roots caused by English residential schools in previous generations, and the gradual correction she sees. But as people start to do their healing, the adults start to do their healing, then the youth can also do their healing and their children. And because let's face it, you know, what you learn, uh, what you learn as a child from your parents or your grandparents, you pass on down the generations, right? Meanwhile, Walter Bonet, the pound maker descendant, minces no words about Aboriginal leadership. All they see is money. They don't know who they are. They don't understand the role responsibilities. I would say you either go and have a, a, a PhD degree, then come and be a chief. They don't have the education? No, they don't have education. That's the problem. Speaking of education, both Giselle and Walter are active as Nate elders to the hundreds of Native students there. Nate also produces an Aboriginal awareness course online. In our Aboriginal culture, Culture is education, so with mainstream education and culture put together, find that balance and you have a, a, an empowered student. It's changing everywhere, but you know, I, I truly personally believe that it's going to take a while. It's not going to happen overnight. These local elders are just happy to be part of the solution. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.